Because of some equipment issues, I had to put this video together different than what I normally do. And also, as you see, that's, it's not me riding. This is my son-in-law. I had him come put some rides on this horse. This is actually one of the, the roughest to start horses that I've had in, in in quite a long time. He's coming around nice, but it has taken a lot of work to get him there. We've had to do a lot of ground driving and a lot of ponying, and we're riding him independent now. But uh, it, this has been a long time coming. be scratched all over and I wasn't expecting him to be this hard to start until we started asking him to put a little pressure on him and asking him to do a little bit and uh, mainly we've just had to build his confidence. Uh, ponying, ponying him off of Bob like you've seen me do in other videos helped him a whole bunch and that helped get his confidence up that we wasn't going to do anything that hurt him. I don't think anything has ever been done to this horse to, to make him think somebody was going to hurt him. I think he is basically just a recessive type horse and wants to get out of other horses way and that was causing the reactions that we were getting when we first started working. And I noticed that when we were ponying him off of Bob, he was trying to get out of Bob's space even when Bob wasn't even pinning his ears or doing anything to tell him to get out of his space. So it, the horse really isn't trying to be bad. He's trying very hard to do what's asked of him. And just sometimes he overreacts to a point that is not productive. So we've had to build his confidence up slowly and it's, it's coming around as you see he's walking around and he's going to start dropping his head in a little bit and, and get confident and he's, he's coming around it's going to be a very nice horse it has just taken time to build his confidence